How black holes devour matter. Black holes don't just suck matter in. They shave it into their depths. In energy filament theory, a black hole's method of eating matter is more like a cosmic planar than a deep pit that drags things down. As matter approaches, it's progressively thinned, flattened, and stretched by the black hole's curvature structure, then enters through the most energy-efficient path. To give you a clearer picture, let's use a new analogy. Imagine you place a piece of wood into an automatic pencil sharpener. It's not sucked in but rather grabbed by the blades, rotated, straightened, and shaved down until the wood can smoothly slide into the sharpener. That's how a black hole consumes matter. According to energy filament theory, as matter falls toward the black hole, it first gets caught by the shear layer outside the outer critical surface. The inner layers move faster, while the outer layers move slower. This difference in speed acts like sharp blades, shaving the matter into a shape that can be swallowed. Next comes the second step, piston layer compression. As the piston layer contracts and expands, it works like a kneading machine, flattening the material so it doesn't fall in all at once nor get stuck at the outer critical surface. The real appetite of the black hole is determined by the rhythm of the piston layer. When it's slow, the black hole swallows slowly. When it's fast, it takes a big gulp. The third step is the destruction zone. Once matter enters this zone, it is stretched thinner and thinner, like a piece of wood being shaved down to a sharp point. Visually, it may seem crushed, but in energy filament theory, this is because the time rhythm is stretched so thin that the matter's ability to remain stable is disrupted, causing it to disintegrate into energy filaments. Finally, these filaments enter the soup core, just like a sharpened pencil being mixed into a pot of thick soup losing its original form and becoming part of the black hole's energy system. So, black holes don't eat randomly. They don't swallow matter whole. Instead, they use a three-step process. Shearing, compressing, and destroying to shape the incoming matter into a form they can handle. The devouring of a black hole isn't about darkness, it's about precision. Next we'll discuss why do black holes echo like drum beats. Tap follow, share it on new physics, clear universe.